All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For those that uh, haven't been on the class, I'm Tavon. I'll be doing a strength and core workout, um, representing corporate Elevation Corporate Health uh, from Baltimore, Maryland. We're going to be getting into a little bit of a uh, little bit of isometrics today. Uh, we're going to add in some good strength work, upper body, primarily. Uh, what we're going to need, we're going to need a mat. You're going to need a bag or something that you can, you know, utilize and carry on your back. We're also going to need some weights or a weighted object that you're able to curl with or be able to hold above the head. Uh, what I also want you to do is get a chair if you can. The chair is going to be used to take the uh, workout up a little bit. Um, just a little bit more challenging, you know, just uh, give us some variations here. Uh, I know we're not working with much equipment if we're home, so we just try to make the best out of every piece of uh, furniture or equipment that we have. I'll give you a couple of seconds to grab those things, uh, then meet me back here at the mat. We're getting started in one minute. All right. Hopefully everybody has everything that we need for the day. All right. Let's start off with a good warm-up. We're going to spend about five minutes doing a warm-up. All right. We're going to start with some lunges, simple lunges. Let's start with the pads we're going to be using today. We're going to work it for 30 seconds. The class is going to be all on timing. But a good thing to do is try to keep count of how many you're doing within that 30 seconds. Let you know that you're getting better, whether you're completing uh, a couple more numbers or whether you're able to get through just a little faster or a little bit more, you know, more control. Three, two, one, time. All right, we're gonna want twisting the torso, getting the upper portion of your body, not trying to get the lower spine moving. Just the mid, mid portion. Try to keep that navel drawing in. Work it 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, we're gonna do a little uh, wide stance. Touch down, touch the ground. Shift into the lateral lunge, chest to ground. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, we're going to make our way down to the ground. We're going to be doing some push-ups. All right, if you have to, you start with the beginner version, crossing the legs, making sure the hips are locked in place, straight line with the torso and your legs. Begin here. For those that are doing the advanced version, of course, both feet are out. We're going to work through it. 20 more seconds. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, bring yourself on up. All right, we're gonna go into some squats. Let's give it 30 seconds. Ten left. Five, four, 
three, two, one, time. All right, we're gonna turn it up a little bit. Let's go into some high knees. Ten to go. Three, two, one, time. All right, let's get to some jumping jacks. Fifteen left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, let's get into the work. All right, first thing we're gonna be doing, we're gonna use your chair, we're gonna work the triceps out. All right, what we're gonna do, try to place the hands on the chair, body off, lower yourself down, press on up, lower down, Let the muscles engage, slow, press through. Slow, press through. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Take a second, shake it off. We're not giving up on that exercise just yet. Take 15 seconds. We're gonna go back in, another round. All right, we're really gonna challenge you small muscle groups today. Ready? Back on in. Today focus, most definitely strength. We will have our core, but this right here is gonna be the foundation for the day. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, rest. All right, shake it off. We're gonna take 30 seconds this time. We're gonna go right back in one more time. Really challenging those muscles today. Take your time with it, no need to rush. Make sure we're getting quality tricep extensions, all right? 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's finish it off strong. Press it through. Two more to go. Three, two, one, time. Rest on up. All right, you should feel it. All right, now what we're gonna do to finish off the tricep, we're gonna go into one set of push-ups. Push-ups are gonna be all throughout the workout. We're doing one set at a time. It's gonna be coupled with other exercises. All right, let's finish burning them out. Five, four, three, two, one. We begin. Pace yourself. We have 40 seconds worth of work to do here. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. Time. That's doing up. Shake them off. All right. We're going to work the legs. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do some squats. After we do the squats, we're going to do some jump squats. We're going to repeat it again. Squats. 
jump squats. All right? Let's grab the bag, hold on to it in the front. All right, three, two, going to a squat. Make sure we squeeze the glutes at the end. Fifteen to go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, take a second. Slow down. All right, we're gonna give him a 15 second rest. Then we're gonna do some jump squats. Three, two, one, go down, full extension. Ten to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Give us. We're gonna go back in. Squat. Jump squats. Fifteen to go in the rest break. All right, we're going to get set up. Let's grab the bag. And begin. Fifteen to go. Three, two, one, break. All right, we're gonna jump squats again. Little rest in between. Five, four, jump squats, and begin. Make sure we load the glutes. This isn't the same as hit training or cardio. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, take a second, recover. We're gonna go down to the ground. We're gonna do some chest work. We're gonna need a weight on each side of the body. All right, what we're going to have going on is going to be alternating chest press. Let the elbows go all the way to the ground. Touch the ground, alternate. Two. All right, let's go ahead and grab our weights, your bands, whatever you have. Three, two, and begin. Nice slow pace. We're not looking to speed this one up. Hopefully we have something heavy enough to really challenge you today. Keep that core engaged, maybe move locked in, just supporting your lower back. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Rest them on the side. All right, now what we're gonna do, 15 seconds, going back in for another set. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and let's go. Back on in. 
That's why I don't want you to speed through them. Don't tire yourself out yet. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest on it. All right. Once again, one more time. 15 second break. Arms should be nice and tight. That's all right. We're going to just push through it. We got it. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Back in. Get some rim breathing going on. Control it. Five, four, three, two, time. Sit on down. All right. I want you to come on out when you're ready. It's a 30 second break. We're going to be going for some lunges. What we're going to do this time, we're going to hold on to the weight. We're going to have a weight in each hand. We're going to be doing forward lunges. Bring it back. Alternate. Bring it back. All right. I'm going to start to get in position. In five, four, three, two, one, lunge, come back. Oh. Lunge, deep lunge. Really challenge your quads today. Only way you don't go down is if you hit some knee pain. We try to stay away from that. You shorten it up. Just a little short if your knees hurting. If you're fine, go and work it out with me. Get down as low as you can. Listen to your body first. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, time. Let's sit them on down. All right, we're going to do something explosive. All right. We're going to switch cycle jumps. One. All right, ready? Jump on in there with 30 seconds. Make it explosive. Don't just jump through it. Take the time. Slow up. Slow. 10. 5. Three, two, time. All right, let's shake it off. We're gonna take 30 seconds to recover. Gonna go back in, lunges, cycle jumps. All right, hope everybody's feeling all right out there. Hopefully just got a little sweat going on, no pain. All right. Let's really grab our weight. <clears throat> Five, four, three, back to lunges. And again. We almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Let's sit them on that. All right, shake it out. We're getting ready for those cycle jumps. Five, four, three, two, and let's go. Load, switch. Load, switch. Five, 
two, five, four, three, two, time. All right, shake the legs out. We're gonna move away from the legs. Can we work some shoulders? All right, 30 second break. I'm gonna demonstrate how we're gonna do it. All right, I want you to be able to grab, put your feet in the chair if you can. Hips up, gonna make our way down, working the shoulders. The crown of the head going down to the mat. If you get tired, you just step out the chair, place your feet down on the mat, continue the same way. All right? Let's get ready to get ourselves set up. Three, two, one, and let's go. Fifteen, go. Let those elbows bend. Five, four, three, two, time. Come on out. Take a full 30 seconds. Back yourself to recover. We're going to do that again. Don't worry, the shoulders out. 15 seconds. Round two, I'm going to do one on the ground so that you can see how it's going to look on the ground as well. All right, bring the hips on up. Make sure that when you go down, the elbows are bending. All right, looks like this. Let the elbows flex. And whatever way helps you get through it, but we want to get those elbows bending, top of your head going down to the mat. We have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. All right. Take another 30. One more time. So it's a heavy. Heavy upper body day, but we got it. We got it. 15 seconds. We're gonna get back in there. All right, let's start to get set up. Five, four, three, two, begin. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Woo, rest on up. All right, going back in. I'm challenging the legs again. Thirty second rest. I'll break down the exercise over the next 15 seconds. All right. <clears throat> Place the bag on your back. All right, we're gonna be doing alternating lunges. No second hold, one, two, up. Other side, one, two, up. Ready? Let's do it. Ten go. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow down. All right. We're gonna take a wide stance. We're gonna touch down, back in, back down. All right? Ready? Three, 
two, one, squat in, squat in deep. Let's make it powerful. Reach the ground. Five, four, three, two, one, time. That's those legs up. 30 seconds. All right. What are we gonna be doing? Going back in. Whole cycle again. 10 seconds to go. All right. Let's get ready to set the bag up. Three, two, and let's go. Back in. One, two, come on up. One, two, come on up. Keep your chest up. Looking at the camera. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Bring it down. Ten seconds. We're gonna go back in. Wide stance squats. Five. Four, three, two, let's do it. Almost there, come on, 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one, time. See so yourself going back, upper body. All right, we're gonna go back down. <clears throat> Grab one of your weights, just one. Hopefully we're able to hold it in one hand or be able to keep the body positioned over it to do a row. We're going to do two sets of renegade rows. You're going to place your body, position, drop it down to the side, and we're going to pull. All right. In five, four, three, one side, two, and go. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, time. Switch out, out the side. Ready? Let's do it. Those hips. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. Whew. Take a second. All right, got me sweating over here today. I love it. Sweat. All right, taking that 30 second break. We're going to go back in again. Give it 15. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Time. 
Try to stabilize your hip. As we lift, we're going to use more of the back. Five, four, three, two, time. Opposite side. One more time. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Fight through it. 20 seconds. Ten to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo! All right. Placing the weights to the side. Time to core. All right. First one, meet me down on the ground. To your back. All right, we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift. And take one leg on up. We almost did. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, down. So transition time. Ready? Opposite side. Lift on out. Breathe through it. Keep that navel drawing in. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Take a second. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna roll on up using the upper body. I'm using the upper core, or rather rolling with the abdominals. We're gonna pump through 30 seconds. Make sure you stay engaged, shoulders off the ground. Tuck your chin. We'll look up to the ceiling and take the pressure off your neck. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right. Next one. We're going to be doing some leg drops. Make sure she is back and up for it. All right, if you need to, you need to sit on your hands, take the pressure off your lower back, make sure the back is flat, bring them up, drop them down, back one up. Pay attention to your spine, make sure that you're not curving at your spine. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right. Fifteen seconds. We're going to start back at the top. We're going to take the legs straight on out. We're going to lift up. Single leg glute bridge. Five, four, three, two. One leg out, slowly lift. Keep your breath, that's to breathe through it. And if you have the release, you come down, meet us back up there. Don't just give up on it. Five, four, three, two, relax. Take a second. All right, get yourself adjusted for the other side. Five, four, three, 
two, going up. Try to keep the hips engaged, squeeze the glute, fire it off. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Woo, all right. 15 seconds. We're gonna go back in, bring your whole feet flat, rolling up using your dog. Rolling up. And again. Breathe with each pump. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, rest. One more to go. Then we start to stretch. All right, we're gonna round leg drops. All right, we're gonna bring the legs straight on up. Ready? Hands underneath them, you need the pressure off your back. And begin. Slowly drop. Bring them right back up and feel your back arch. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Hopefully the core is firing off. Hopefully we're there. If you need some water before we stretch, go ahead and grab some water. Come meet me back on the mat. We're gonna to start to stretch it out. First place we're going is going to your back. Let's loosen up your lower back. Let's get the hips loosened up. Get the glutes stretched out. All right, we're gonna get started. Ready? Pull in. Hopefully today we were able to really feel some endurance coming along. If you were starting with me a few weeks back and we're feeling stronger than before, we're on the right path. Keep holding. Three, two, one. Let's let one leg down, cross the right leg over the left. Let's pull the left leg in. Let's focus on the glutes. We did a lot of jumping there, did a lot of lateral movements. Really take the time to relax. Control your breathing through the stretches. Allow your body to know that we over with for the day. So you made it. Three, two, one. Let's switch on out. Bring it on in. Don't allow the body to bounce back and forth. If you pull all the way in and it's a little tight, back off of it just a little, but stay there easily. Just keep slowly bringing yourself in. Three, two, one. All right. We're gonna go into a butterfly stretch. All right. Putting the feet together. Allow the inside of the thighs to relax. If you need to, you take your elbows, press them down while holding your ankles, pressing those knees down toward the ground, trying to do the best to keep a straight back, then allow yourself to curve over. Just relax and breathe through. Three, two, one, time. All right, let's take one leg back. See the quad stretch, stretching out the front of your leg, leg back and towards some. Give it five more seconds. 
it's tight, just slowly come off of it and hold where you don't feel an like extreme amount of pain. Three, two, one. Switch legs. Hold it. Uh, four, three, two, one. All right, let's meet me up at the top. Get a few standing stretches in. All right. First one, let's do a focus on these hamstrings. Take the forehead over to the knee with a wide stance. Hold on to the back of your leg, just not behind the knee. We don't want the leg to flex. We want to keep it nice and tight, right in line, locking the knee in place. Five, four, three, two, one, slowly coming up, opposite side. Feel the stretch in the back of the leg, keep that knee locked in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's bring it up, keep the legs wide. Let's roll those shoulders back. Let's lock the hands together. Open up the chest, look towards the ceiling. And if you're outside, look up towards the sky. Down here in Baltimore, it's raining. Don't know where you're at. Maybe it's uh, nice and sunny. And you're outside. Sounds perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Side stretch. Let one hand slide down the leg. Let the hand, the hand up. Either let it hang or lock it behind the head. Want to feel a lateral stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch out positions. Hopefully by now, you're starting to feel nice and relaxed. Hopefully heart rates have came back down. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. So we're coming up. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I'm going to push through the workout just like I did. Hopefully, we all feeling great about what we achieved today. This is Tavon once again. I appreciate y'all showing up, being there so I can have a class. Till next week, y'all have a great one.